We're going back after Panda Express, fellas. We're going after an item that should just be way better. And I have a feeling we're gonna blow it out of the water. So today we're making the Panda Express chow mein, but better. It's pretty simple. It's chow mein noodles. They're stir fried with a couple vegetables and that's really it. I don't think I've ever ordered chow mein before, but a lot of you guys have asked for it. So here we are making it. We're gonna make it as properly as possible with a proper wok hay. It's gonna be beautiful, okay? I think this is something that Uncle Roger would probably appreciate. I don't know. Maybe he's watching, who knows? Now with all that said, let's make this, shall we? Oh my God, it's Panda, yay! Why are people whipping it today? Why is it in Houston that people just randomly get into this mood where they're like, you know what, I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Just drive normally. Uh, this drive through line looks, oh, what? Should we do the drive through line? Sure. Yeah, we'll get it here. Unfortunately, we have to be behind people that has like their entire family in a cartoon on the back of their car. No, I get it, like, but also why? And I mean this genuinely with respect, nobody cares. I, I, I just don't know who's gonna be driving and they see that and they're like, oh my God, you have two daughters and a cat? Hi, uh, uh, can I just get two orders of just the chow mein? Thank you. Okay, we have this. It's really stinky and the boxes aren't closed. Oh God, here we go. Okay, we have the bag. These are already open, so that's probably all over the bag now. So we're just gonna eat out of the bag. Look, at, I'm, not, I'm not even joking about this. They didn't even try to close these. I get it, it's, it's Panda Express, right? I'm not expecting Michelin service, but could you just close the fucking box? That smells awful. How do I describe this smell? Burnt oil. Here we go. They don't taste as bad as they smell, but this has to be the most flavorless noodle I've put in my mouth in the last 10 years of my life. And that's a fact. What I taste is noodle, a little bit of cabbage, excessive amounts of vegetable oil, and that's that's it. If y'all think we can't make this better, get the heck out of here. We're gonna do it right now. I, I literally have nothing else to say. I mean, that, that's just, this is it. This is so fast, it's gonna have you saying, why in tarnation did I ever go and get this? Let's first begin with our chow mein sauce. In a small bowl, add one tablespoon or 14 milliliters of Chinese cooking one, such as Shaoxing, two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon or three grams of ground white pepper, one and a half tablespoons or 25 grams of oyster sauce. Begin whisking that together and then realize that you forgot about the half teaspoon or three grams of toasted sesame oil. Give that some until thoroughly combined, then whisk in two teaspoons or five grams of cornstarch until completely dissolved. That is your chow mein sauce, looking lovely. Now before we put this all together, I wanna to talk about our noodle, like noodles. The other day I saw someone recommend fettuccine. Please understand that if you do this, papa, I can't even make a joke about this. Don't make chow mein if you're gonna act like that. Instead, get yourself some fresh chow mein noodles. I personally like the thicker noodles rather than the really thin ones. And these can be found at most Asian grocery stores, usually in the refrigerated area. You can also find them online and there's a link in the description for that. Now once you've Required your nudes. Get a large pot of water, bring that to a boil, and add 8 to 10 ounces or 226 to 283 grams of noodles. Let that cook depending on what the package recommends. Mine only needed one single minute. Then drain those in a colander. Give it a light rinse with fresh water. This helps remove the excess starch and stops the cooking process to prevent overcooking. Because if you overcook it, then papa no smooch. Next, snag a nice big wok, not to be confused with the rhyme of a nice, uh, I'll stop now. Add in about three and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil, swirl it around the pan, and heat over medium high. Swirling occasionally until the oil begins to smoke, pour out that oil, give it a good wipe with a paper towel, and now you're lightly seasoned. Add in another three and a half tablespoons of fresh oil to your wok, heat that back up over medium high, and once the oil is hot, hot, and the oil is moving real fast. You're gonna add two green onions which have been sliced into one inch segments, one to two large ribs of celery sliced, one large carrot peeled and julienned beautifully. I used a julienne peeler, which I normally don't do, but hey, here we are. And three cups of very finely shredded green cabbage, which is about half a head. Look, please make the cabbage thin, okay? Thin, like paper. Now we have to give this what's called the breath of the wok. Rip the heat to high and begin vigorously pushing and pulling the pan while constantly stirring with a wok spatula or spoon. Do this for about 20 to 30 seconds, then let the veg rest and get some color. Begin stir frying again and repeat that process a couple of times until the veg has some nice color on it and is cooked, but it still has some crunch. About three minutes total. Then immediately remove all the veg and place in a bowl to the side. Add in another two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Heat that over medium high until very hot. Then add four cloves of very finely chopped garlic. Constantly 
swirl the pan while frying until the garlic begins to turn golden brown. Listen, this will happen very quickly, so keep a close eye. And as soon as it hits a nice golden brown, immediately add your veg back and stir together to keep the garlic from burning. If it burns, you ruined it. What do you want me to say? Add in your noodles and stir fry over high heat for another minute, then add your chow mein sauce, followed by two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of water. Stir fry for another 30 seconds, then add one cup or 120 grams of bean sprouts. Stir fry for another 30 seconds, cut off the heat, then add two more cloves of very finely chopped garlic and toss together. That way you get some fresh spicy garlic and some roasty, toasty. Now all you gotta do is get yourself a nice bowl and immediately serve. Add stacks and stacks of your gorgeous noodles until it's nice and tall and optionally finish with some very thinly sliced green onion. And by the way, if you wanna add shrimp to this or chicken, you can totally do that and it would be absolutely delicious. But we have to keep this similar to make this a proper competition. And that right there is a proper chow mein. I mean, and just looking at it side by side, I think we've won, but uh, who knows, maybe it tastes the same. So there's nothing left to do other than taste test and find out. <laughs> Chow mein, let's go! Pico pointed this out earlier, but this is like the desaturated version. This is the raw photophile, and then this is post-production. Okay, let's do a smell test first. <sighs> Soy, rich garlic, smell the cabbage, the seared cabbage. Caramelized. <laughs> wet sock, really wet sock. I already know what this tastes like, so we're gonna give this a taste. Here we go. I ran out of oxygen. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so good! I don't know what they're, I don't know. This is perfect, exactly what you want to taste. When you think of chow mein, you think chewy, nice, fragrant noodles. You got the kick from spicy garlic, but you also have that toasted garlic, the green onion, the umami, the white pepper kind of comes in just a little underhanded, a little bit of a spice. You could add chilies to this and be even better. Look, you already know that I'm gonna say this is a winner. It's an easy one. Can't say that because people will be like, oh my God. To that I say, we're bringing in a taste tester. Oh, is it gonna be the bowl? Is it gonna be the, the cardboard box? Mmm. That was number one. Now, number two. Choo choo! Oh God, why did you have to stick your tongue out? Which one? Well, number two, like I've said several times on this channel now, number two tasted like number two. That was clearly number one. You still taste a little bit of oil, but like you taste the sesame oil. You taste the flavors. This just tastes like fry oil. And I'll nothing else. The There's the textures I don't mind. Like the noodles have a good texture. Yeah, they were very similar in texture. Yeah, but like, almost identical. So if you want a bowl of texture and no flavor, like eating a cloud, go this way. But a depressing cloud, by the way. This is a rain cloud. This is like a rain cloud and you had a terrible day and it's raining on you and you're sad. You just want to go home, but your house flooded. Go for this one. If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, I just spit everywhere. If you wanna be happy for the rest of your life, you're gonna want the butt better version. You wanna know what else is full of glazed hot noodles and lots of slurping? B-roll. Guys, and that is it. So we made our Panda Express chow mein butt better. And what did I say? We blew it out of the water, brother. All right, we got done, did it? She is. The beautiful thing about this dish is it's so fast to put together. If you have a proper wok, you can make a beautiful chow mein and it is so, so, so good just on its own. You could add some grilled chicken, you could add some grilled shrimp or if you're vegetarian, you, uh, I don't even think this dish is vegetarian, is it? I never really know. Whatever, you could add grilled tofu or even fried tofu. The possibilities are endless. This is a perfect base for flavor. Flavor! Thank you, Kate. We've said everything we need to say. Now, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Oh, yeah.